Hey guys, welcome to another Unity 5 tutorial today, and this is going to be a very simple sort of material slash shadery tutorial. It's going to show you how to go about making your own sort of gold uh, material, so you can make it sort of simulate that you've got gold bars or something like that. Now, this is extremely simple, that these are my gold bars, and all it does to, you know, to recreate this sort of scene or this look yourself, is that you need a reflection probe, I've just got everything in sort of like a little um, just encapsulated area. It doesn't really matter where you've got it. You can have it outside. We've got one material, um, one point light for the inside. The actual model itself, when it helps, when it's got some smooth edges and I can provide this model um, on my website. Okay, so I'm going to give the example of here's the gold bars with, um, you know, without the reflection probe. And I'll show you how to quickly make the material. All I've got here is just some uh, boxes with um, a material on it the texture and um, I haven't got a point light yet or a reflection probe I haven't got a main camera there is a directional light outside but it isn't really adding much to the sort of environmental lighting if we go to my lighting tab there's nothing really um, anything going on here apart from the real-time GI which is ticked but you can either have that or not on your material, my gold material I have created there, we'll create a new one. You can right click, create and choose just a new material. What I'll do this is I'll call this um, gold bar mat for the sake of this. And then what we want to do is we want to go to the albedo color and sort of move, knock it down to sort of, sort of a, a yellowy orange. And it's really up to you to sort of try and get an idea. So, you know, if we maybe stick with something like this. So you can see that's my materials changed so far. And you can see that metallic and smoothness sliders are sort of where they are by default. You can knock the smoothness um, slider all the way up to make it look like it's almost become very shiny. Then what you can do is knock the metallic slider all the way up. And then we're matching the original gold bars that we had. In my scene here I've got a point light and other than you can enable shadows if you like and it's got nothing other than a slightly increased range just so you can see everything in this scene. Now the important thing with this is now yeah we're starting to sort of get some um, uh, reflections but it's not very accurate and it doesn't really take into account what's around it. So the, one of the important things is you can go game object, light and reflection probe. So I've just added a new one to my scene and you can notice everything's black and I've got my reflection probe probe here and if I pull it up and just put the actual sphere into the middle of the room and then what we can do is we can change the box size of our um, reflection probe so we can set the box size to two maybe two and two for now and we can see it here now and what I could might be able to, what I could do is pull these down, and you can see that it starts uh, grabbing all the objects that are within the range of this. Now, we can click on the top left here, and we can adjust by the actual bounding box that it has, and we can just pull out, and we can just pull these out manually, so we pretty much just encapsulate the full room. And once we've just extended the bounding all the way across, what we can do is on our reflection probe, it might currently be set by default at baked. Now you can leave that if you're going to do baked lighting, but for the sake of this, we want to set it to real time. So then it will update our actual um, preview of what the room actually currently looks like. And we get start to get a slightly more accurate look of what gold should be based on the sort of look of this room and the lighting that is in here. You can set your reflection probe to real time and you can set it to on awake if you wish. And one of the important things, if you've got it in a room like this, which is almost like a box, which would be for most interior sort of environments, you can set it to um, box projection and it puts a more accurate projection inside based on what we've got in here. And you can notice that then the reflections get updated and they look a sort of a slightly bit more towards how it should do based on the other things that are in our scene. And when you've got your material out, you might want to just play your scene to make the reflection probe update its reflections. 
So pretty much to get a basic gold material is you want to slide your metallic all the way to the top. Smoothness pretty much all the way to the top so you get a very um, smooth surface. Um, you'll set your albedo color to something that you like. You can create your own reflection probe, put it, make it baked or real time and set it to box um, projection if you want it in a scene but other than that you can get a fairly you know, nice looking um, gold material quite simply in a few easy steps so thanks very much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe cheers